They call, they wait, they kill. Varmint hunters in search of a prize. Like the first prize this year was about $5,000 worth of guns. To the one who claims the most lives. Let's go, go get another one. Kyle Stinnett makes no excuses for what he does. I have as much right to do the hunting, to do the animal trapping, to do any of that that I want to do, just like anybody else has the right for gay marriage or transgender or anything that anybody says is not right. Varmint hunts are organized killing sprees where teams pay a fee to enter what they consider a social competitive game. They're organized hunts where people come in from other states yes. and pay their money to kill our animals. Yes. Kyle says there's at least one varmint hunt every weekend across Nevada from September through March, but his annual September hunt is the only one in Las Vegas. We had approximately 60 some coyotes killed total. Um, the winning team had 21 coyotes. Coyotes aren't the only animals considered to be varmints. Oh, <laughs> real <laughs> real you that shallow thud. Jackrabbits are too. Varmints can be shot at will, no permit or hunting license required, and the hunts themselves are not regulated. I don't think that makes it right, just because it's legal to do that. Karen Lane of the Las Vegas Valley Humane Society disagrees with the whole concept. I think this kind of hunt is very inhumane. But Kyle claims they focus on ethical kills. Seemed to do the job one shot, didn't even pass through. Dropped him right in his tracks. Coyote hides like these only sell for between 30 and 40 bucks a piece, so there's hardly big bucks to be made in these varmint hunts. Hunters say there is some profit to be had in prizes, but it's also about predator control. People need to know that without these coyotes being shot, that you're going to end up with them in town, eating your house dogs, on your golf courses, eating your cat. He also kills coyotes to preserve other wild animal populations like deer and elk. Everything has to be kept in check with, with the um, amount of feed uh, and, and such that's out there. County Commissioner Tom Collins adds that too many coyotes can cost taxpayers in the long run. You know, the state of Nevada has for many years paid for damages to livestock throughout the state caused by too many coyotes. He supports varmint hunts, but he's got a big problem. It's totally wrong. With what Action News exposed in February. There's always questionable things done in, in hunting. The carcasses strewn along this dirt road in Apex are part of the aftermath of Kyle's September hunt. The pile of coyotes that were found, that particular hunter decided he didn't want to do anything with them, so he took them out and dumped them out. Stinnett, a licensed trapper who sells coyote pelts, says he and his fellow hunt organizers don't condone the carcass dumping, and they've cautioned the guilty hunter that he may be banned from further competition. Collins says that's not good enough. Uh, they should be prosecuted for not disposing properly, um, whether it be by the State Department of Agriculture or our animal control here at the county. Though Kyle has no plans to turn that hunter in, he knows who did this because of the team number on these wood blocks. They're placed in the coyotes' mouths shortly after death to keep track of kills and to prevent cheating. And on the back of it, you would have written the time and date that the animal was killed and taken a picture of you with that animal and that block. A grim image for some, but not as grim as the big picture, says Karen Lane. So coyotes serve a really important function because they kill some of the smaller mammals that may carry disease. Kyle thinks it's much ado about nothing. And so they, they, get, they get off with very little knowledge of what really goes on and, and tear off into the the inhumane treatment and the senseless killing of animals, and it couldn't be further from the truth for 90% for of the sportsmen that I know here in Las Vegas. The nation's biggest killer of wildlife is our own federal government. In late April, an animal welfare organization filed a federal lawsuit here in Las Vegas against the USDA, seeking to prevent them from killing natural predators like coyotes. The lawsuit calls the government's wildlife services program an unnecessary and unlawful slaughter that may have a significant impact on the environment. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.